Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Chill Time with Kelly. I am your host, Kelly. It has been <clears throat> maybe a solid couple weeks since I last recorded, um, purely because I was going through a period of lack of inspiration. Um, and yeah, when that happens, it's my indication to take a break. Despite the many times I said that Chill Time with Kelly is, is my priority this year, and I'm still making it a priority, but I still listen to my instincts whenever it says, you need to take a break. <laughs> but I'm back, and we're going to start off with April recap. And I cannot believe literally four months of 2024 have passed. Well, almost has passed. It's already April 25th when I'm recording this. And April has been a very, very fast month for me personally, because I have literally learned so, so much this month in terms of work, in terms of myself, in terms of my likes and my dislikes. It has been a lot. And one step forward that I have gotten is I decided to soldier up and attend my first major, major concert. And that is not happening until next month, but I'm super, super excited. I got very, very special tickets, and I'm super excited. I get to see Soundcheck, and oh my god, I'm so, so excited. And I don't really go to sound checks that often, but sound checks are not so easy to be able to get into but and I would love to see it too but with that being said so that's one major major thing another major major thing is I have literally been driving literally every single day for about a month now and at least a month and it has definitely made a huge difference in terms of my calmness and my mentality because I think you guys may or may not know this, but driving in New York City, if you're from New York City, you can imagine how difficult that is. And it's really exhausting sometimes, especially when you get stuck in traffic. I was stuck in traffic today for at least an hour, and yeah. But it was well worth it, though, because the sun was, like, so warm and comforting. I was listening to music. And it was just like a perfect time to just calm and center myself and get in my thought process, which honestly makes me super, super happy. So that was that's another major, major thing. And also, as I'm recording this, it's only one more week until I turn 25, which I cannot believe I just said that. I am literally turning 25 in about a week. Woo! God, oh my god, oh my god, I cannot believe that. I literally cannot believe that. But it's okay, because that is the next step of adulting, which is another thing that I definitely think really, really was reflected personally in the month of April, just like going into things with a little bit more content and just calmness. And I really like these monthly reflection type of episodes. That is because... I think it just inspires you guys to just kind of calm down and take a step back and reflect on your day because I think the power of reflection is very, very important and because you're able to revisit that time and be able to take what lessons you have learned from it. And for me, that has been really, really helpful in terms of my mental health. Because I can improve myself on areas that I think I need improvement on. And one of them for me was definitely just trying to stay calm when things go wrong. And I never actually had that. I like really, really, I haven't really faced that kind of problem um, in a little while. But I definitely... I'm in better control of my reactions now and I'm in better control of everything that I do. And I think that's a huge, huge step of improvement, growth, and overall just improving myself as a human being. 
And I encourage you guys to do the exact same thing as well. Try to find different spots in your personal life that you think may need improvement on, whether either it is becoming a better listener, a a better way to respond to people instead of, um, oh, a better choice of words too. I know that is very helpful. And I think that's all I want to say. Oh, another thing. Thank you so, so much to everybody who has reached out loving my magazine interview. That was the scariest thing I've ever done so far. Maybe the, Maybe that's like the third most scariest thing I have ever done. And I'm so happy you guys love it. I still get messages up to date telling me that, oh my God, I just saw your magazine interview. You were such an inspiration. Well, thank you so much for all those sweet messages. And I'm just happy my story is able to inspire somebody else. And just also overall to show them that they're not alone. So with that being said, that is going to be the end of this episode of Chill Time with Kelly. Thank you so, so much for listening. I will see you all on the next episode.